Hello, welcome back to some 1995 Atba baseball. So I just uh, did an unboxing uh, for this set, and Greg Maddox was calling my name. Uh, as you can see, he had a, an amazing year in 1995. It was a shortened year, so there was uh, it didn't start till later in April due to the uh, strike that uh, canceled the '94 World Series. Uh, so at any rate, he was 19 and two with a 163 ERA, 23 walks and 210 innings, only gave up eight home runs. Uh, in 210 innings, and 1995 uh, was definitely an offensive year, so just an incredible year for Greg Maddox. So uh, this is opening day, 1995. The Giants are in Atlanta to take on the Braves. It's Wednesday, April the 26th. Again, the season started late due to that goofy strike, and uh, so... Uh, I thought I would uh, have some fun with my new 1995 set. So Maddox is at 20 on his master rating, which is uh, which is kind of an AC. Uh, he's an AC in basic. Uh, it's a, really a high A, so he will be spending some time in the AC. He also has the X strikeout modifier and then a ZZ control. So um, outside of dead ball, I can't think of too many pitcher cards that are better than this one. Uh, I don't have 1968 Bob Gibson, but I imagine that one might be, might compete uh, with Maddox here. Uh, but 1968 was the year of the pitcher, 1995 was not. So that just makes what Maddox did uh, so much more Amazing, and uh, obviously I was watching baseball at this time, and uh, just watching Maddox pitch. He was he was my favorite pitcher by far. I mean, Randy Johnson and Roger Clemens; th those guys were fun to watch, but they could overpower you. Maddox's control and ball movement, and the way he could work a batter was just amazing, and I enjoyed that very much. So, at any rate, we will play some. 1995 Atba with Greg Maddox and the new or the uh, San Francisco Giants. So let me get the camera here. There we go. It's a little better. There. All right. So leading off for the Giants will be Darren Lewis. Uh, he's a minus one, so that will move. Uh, that'll move uh, Maddox to the uh, AC range again. That's where he'll be a lot. So let me uh, let me pause that and see if I can get down a little closer to the field. There we go. The cards are the star of the show. So here we go. So Maddox, Lewis, A and C for Maddox, and we'll get this party started. Fifty-two is a twenty-seven. Uh, he has the X modifier, so that's going to be a strikeout swinging. Maddox with that. Um, the uh, fastball on the outside corner moving away from him, and Lewis comes up empty. There's actually some YouTube videos of Maddox pitching, like a compilation, and it is really fun to watch. Uh, he, again, he was just the master. So He starts off here with a strikeout swinging of Lewis, and that brings us Robbie Thompson. Uh, he will make Maddox an A and a C. 61 is a 36, and that's going to be a ball. Uh, there goes my die, and I don't have a spare. So, let's see, 26 is a 27, and that's an X, so I need it to see what kind of strikeout. Bear with me. That would be a strikeout looking. So Maddox, again, that that fastball that moved back in over the plate uh, from the outside. Fools Robbie Thompson, and there's two away here, two strikeouts. It's amazing that he struck out that many with no more uh, power than he that he had. Again, 181 strikeouts and 210 innings. That's pretty good. Anyway, but... Roger our strikeout here. 
All right, that brings up Barry Bonds. Versus right-handed pitchers, one. So he'll make an A out of Maddox. So this is a classic matchup. 51 is a nine on an A. And that's going to be hit down to Blouser up the middle. He will get to it and fire on to first to retire the side. Nine, A. Yep, ground out to short. So Maddox looks like Maddox here in the first inning. As the Giants go in order. Go to the bottom of the first. Giants nothing. Braves coming to bat. On the mound for the uh, Giants is Terry Mulholland. Uh, he had a pretty rough year, as you can see. 5-13 and 13 with a 580 ERA. Uh, so he is a, a 2 Master rating, which is a low D as in dog. He does ha he has the R as well, which I have to remember to keep an eye out for that because an R is rare. He does have the Z, so he had good control. Uh, but uh, other than that, he <laughs> did not have a great year. So leading off will be Marquise Grissom versus a left-hander. He's a plus two, so that'll make Mulholland a zero. 44, 8, and that's going to be a line drive to left center field. Bonds will get to it, throw it back in, and the Braves get a leadoff single here in the first. Marquise Grissom is fast. That brings Jeff Blauser to the plate. Hmm. I think with Mulholland being such a bad pitcher, we're going to let him hit away. So uh, he stays a zero for Blouser, which is a D as in dog. 45, and that's going to be two balls. He does have the Z quality. 63, so 32. That's hit out to Glen Allen Hill in right field. And he'll track it down for the first out of the inning as Grissom retreats to first. One away, and that brings up Chipper Jones, which hitting Hall of Fame third baseman versus lefties. He stays at a zero, so again, Mulholland will be a Diaz and dog. Not a great year for Chipper Jones. 12's a 25, and that might be trouble. Looks like the Giants are a two, and that's a ground ball to uh, Bobby or uh, Robbie Thompson, and he'll flip to Royce Clayton over to Phillips for a 4-6-3 double play, so... Out, 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 four, six, three. So Mohan does a good job. They get uh, one hit. Leave nobody on. And we've played an inning here. No score. So leading off for the Giants will be Matt Williams. He had a very good year. Looks like he didn't play the whole year. So versus right-handed pitching. However, he's a minus four. So that will make an AC out of Maddox. <sighs> and looks like he got a pitch to hit there. Maddox is a G uh, on his home run, so 11 to 26. That becomes a double. And that's out of here. So Matt Williams gets a hold of one. Hits it high and deep to left field, and the Giants are up by one. So. Figured with only eight home runs, they would have made him an H. But he has the G, so. And that brings Glenn Allen Hill to the plate versus right handers. He'll make an AC out of Maddox. 
32 is a 26, and that's a grounder down to Lemke at second base. And he'll throw on to first for the first out of the inning. J.R. Phillips, left-handed hitting first baseman. Versus Maddox be a one, so he'll be an AC. 12 is a 25, and again, he does have the X quality, so that's going to be a strikeout swinging. Third strikeout for Maddox already. It's two away for Royce Clayton. And Maddox will be an AC on this one. Two out, nobody on. And he gets a hanger. So Maddox showing some early uh, early season as Clayton hits that to left center field. And uh, Kelly will get to it in the alley. Royce Clayton with good speed is headed to second. Here's the throw, and he's in safely with a double. So Kurt Manwaring will take his place in the batter's box. Attempted to give him a walk to get to Mulholland. And I think that's what we will do. So they're going to intentionally walk Manwaring. So we've got runners on first and second. Uh, Clayton is fast. Man wearing is average. And Mulholland will bat versus righties. He'll make Maddox an A and a C. 35, and he strikes out swinging. So that'll do it for the giant threat. They do get a run on a couple of hits. No errors. They leave two on. And after one and a half, San Francisco is up one to nothing. Thanks to the Matt Williams home run. Fred McGriff will take his place in the left-handed batter's box. He does struggle a bit with lefties, so that will improve uh, Mohall into a C as in cat. 51 is a 9, and that's going to be popped up on the infield. Matt Williams will wave that he has it, and he takes it for out number 1. David Justice will be up next. He will keep uh, Mulholland at a D. A little better versus lefties than, than McGriff is. 36 is a 33. Uh, he is not a Y, so that's a pop-up on the infield. And Thompson will get to it for the second out of the inning. So, so, so far, Mulholland's pitching a good game. That brings Javi Lopez to the plate uh, versus lefties. He's a minus five, so that will make a C as in cat out of Mulholland. And he gets one to hit. And that is hit high to left field. Bonds is back at the warning track, and that is gone. Back, 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 gone. Home run for Javi Lopez, and he ties it up. So it's now one to one. So that gives us. Mike Kelly versus lefties. He's a plus two, so that'll make a zero. Diaz and dog. So here is the pitch for Mulholland. 54. And that's a fly ball out to Glen Allen Hill. And he will take it easily for the third out of the inning. But the Braves tie it up thanks to a Javi Lopez two out home run. We've played two. We are tied at one. Right, Darren Lewis got top of the lineup for the Giants. He struck out in the first. Uh, Maddox will be a 21 AC on this one. 54 is a 32, and that's going to be 
line drive to right field. Lewis got good wood on it, but Justice is there to take it for the first out of the inning. David Justice, the right fielder, gets the put out, one away. Robbie Thompson struck out looking his first at bat. Uh, he will make Maddox an A and a C. That's a 12 25, and that's going to be a strikeout swinging. So Maddox with a change up there. Thompson way over, way over, or in front of that one. And Thompson is struck out for the second time today. Strikeout number five for Maddox. That brings Barry Bonds to the plate. He will keep Maddox at an A. Uh, he grounded out to short to end the first. 25 is a 10, and that's going to be a line drive up the middle. And Grissom will play it on a couple of hops and throw it back in. And the Giants have their third hit of the afternoon. Bonds is fast, according to Atba. So you've got runner on first, two out. Matt Williams, who had a home run in his first at bat in 1995. Uh, Maddox will be an A and a C. Here is the pitch. 54, and that's a fly ball, high fly ball, relatively back deep. Uh, Justice will have plenty of time to get to it, and just shy of the warning track, he squeezes it for the third out of the inning. So that'll do it for the Giants in the third. They get a hit and leave, a, leave him on. We go to the home half of the third, not at it one. Got eight, nine, and one scheduled for the Braves. Mark Lemke will take his crack or hit, take the first crack at Mulholland here. Uh, he's good against lefty, so Mulholland will stay at a D. 42, and he strikes out swinging. So Mulholland pitching a good game so far. Seems to have some stuff working, and that brings Greg Maddox to the plate. Uh, versus lefties, he will keep Mulholland at a D as in dog. 44 is a 9, and that's going to be a little liner out over short. Clayton won't be able to get to it. And Maddox is on with a single. So how about that? Third hit of the day for the Braves. Maddox showing the rest of the Braves how it's done. So he is of average speed. And Marquise Grissom, who singled and was erased on Chipper Jones' double play in the first versus lefties. Uh, Mulholland will be a D as in dog. 55, 8, and that's going to be a line drive to center field. Maddox will go no further than second base. And the Braves have two on here with one out. So again, Grissom has good speed at, at first. Maddox with average speed at second. Jeff Blauser flew out to Glen Allen Hill in his first at bat. Versus lefties, he will keep Mulholland at a D. And here is the delivery as the Braves are threatening here in the third. That's probably not good. 25, he is a two, and that's a ground ball to short. He goes to Thompson, on to Phillips, and an inning ending, 6-4-3, Taylor May double play. 6-4-3. Oh, one sec. Stays. Six, four, three. There we go. All right. Well, that does it for the Braves. We go to the fourth, one to one. Glenn Allen Hill will step up here in the top of the fourth. He grounded out to second base in his first effort of the game. He will make an A and a C out of Maddox. Uh-oh. 
There's another one. So again, Maddox not getting the rolls today. So uh, he's a G, 11 to 26. It stays in the park. And it's gone. So that's two home runs. So <laughs> he only gave up eight all year long. So again, I'm wondering if that G, um, if he wouldn't have been better served with an H. But uh, again, that's second home run of the day. Matt Williams had the first one. Glenn Allen Hill has the second one. And it is two to one. Now, in real life, uh, he, it was 12 to five, but Maddox only pitched five innings and gave up one run. So those other four runs were by other brave pitchers. So that's a home run. All right, so that gives us J.R. Phillips. He struck out in his first at bat of the game. Again, Maddox will be an A and a C on this at bat. Oh, goodness. I get so tired of that stupid die. Uh, let's say 30 is a fly ball to left. He is not a K, so that will be out to Kelly as Phillips takes it the other way. And he will get to it for out number one. So one away, Royce Clayton. He had a double in his first effort of the game. Maddox will be an A and a C on this at bat. 63, that's a fly ball to center field. Grissom will take a few steps over to left center field. And he'll let Kelly know that he has it and he gets it to retire Clayton for out number two. Kurt Manwaring, he was intentionally walked. He'll come into the right-handed batter's box. Two out, nobody on. Fifteen, that's an eight, and that's popped up on the infield. Chipper Jones will, will catch it, and that will be it for the Giants. But they get another run on another home run. You know, I don't worry too much about... It's interesting when you're doing replays of baseball is that, you know, you want it to be in the realm of possibility. So, I mean, again, you want... Maddox to be in the lower range of people giving up home runs. So again, um, you know, even though the, he may have needed an H instead of a G, uh, still, you know, he's we kind of got an anomaly there. The chances of them getting two home runs in four innings are really slim. So uh, that's just one of those when you roll the dice, things like that happen. You know, and like I've said before, you could play this season in real life if it was possible five different times and under the exact same circumstances, same players, same weather, same everything, and you would get five really different results in a season's time. So, um, you know, so that's part of the fun. Is You know, as long as the game is representing the players and their abilities, uh, you know, you're going to get some hot streaks, some cold streaks, and some, again, some – outliers things that are just really unusual um, but you know and so it's, again Atba does a really good job at least the couple hundred games I've played so far of representing the players I feel like that I'm playing baseball and I feel like or I'm watching baseball and I feel like that I'm uh, watching the people play and they're doing and have the abilities that they had in real life and so that's that makes a good game for me so Again, I don't get too worried about the fact that Maddox has already given up two home runs because I don't think that's the game's issue. I think that's just the way the dice are rolling. So, All right, Chipper Jones, he grounded into a double play, so the Braves are down by one. 63, 32, that's a fly ball hit the other way. Over to the right field line, Hill will take it on the run, and that will be out number one. Glenn Allen Hill, the right fielder, chases that down for the first out of the inning, and that brings us Fred McGriff, the crime dog from Tampa, Florida. I think he ended up playing with the Devil Rays for a little while. So lefty versus lefty. Uh, oh, I didn't even check the pitcher's range rating, but it didn't come into play on that last at bat, so that's okay. Uh, McGriff is better against right-handed pitchers, and Mulholland is a lefty, so... That will improve Mahal into a C, as in cat. 36, that's 33. 
And that's uh, popped up on the infield. And let's see who's going to get that one. 33. That's going to be a pop out to Thompson at second. Quickly two way. So Mulholland pitching a good game. So again, this is just a perfect example of what I'm talking about. So in real life, Mulholland had a crappy year, but I imagine if you look through his results, he had a couple good games, and then a couple, most of them were really crappy. And so that's I love this game uh, because it does a good job of representing that. So even though he's a D. Uh, with a, he does have the Z and no no R, so that, that or no W that helps him. He's got control, uh, so he but he is going to give up a lot of hits. So uh, you know, but again, if they fall to a strike, he's going to have a good game. And so again, that's like real life. You know, just because you're a, a D pitcher doesn't mean every single game you're going to get hammered. So all right, so David Justice, uh, he will keep Mulholland as at a D as in dog. 14, and that's going to be a walk. So, again, you have to have a ZZ like our man Maddox to not walk with uh, nobody on base. So, two out walk for Justice. He is of average running ability. And on first, two out for Javi Lopez, who had a home run his first at bat. Again, he does prefer the right-handed pitching even though he is a righty so Mulholland will be a C. He, Mulholland looks into man wearing for the sign and here is the delivery and 33 that's a fly ball out to center field. Darren Lewis will take it on the run for out number three. So that'll do it for the Braves in the fourth. They get no runs. One hit no errors. Or actually, no hits. That was a walk. They do leave a runner on. And we have got four through here at Atlanta, and it's 2-1 to one, San Francisco. All right, Mulholland will lead off versus right-handers. He will make Maddox a 21, which is an A and a C. 26, and he strikes out swinging. So strikeout number six for Greg Maddox. Mulholland overmatched, just struck out for the second time this afternoon. Darren Lewis is 0 for 2. And he will keep Maddox at an A and a C. 21 is a 32. And that's a fly ball out to right field. Justice will not have to move hardly at all. And he will put it away for out number 2. Quickly two away here in the fifth. Right-handed hitting second baseman Robbie Thompson will be up next. He struck out twice today, so he's having a difficult time with our man Maddox. 65 is the 35, and that's hit down to McGriff at first. He plays it on two hops, and uh, with plenty of time, will take it to the bag himself to end the inning. So the Giants go in order. We go to the home half of the fifth. Uh, Braves down by one. All right, we got the seven, eight, and nine scheduled for Atlanta. Mike Kelly flew out to right field in his first at bat versus a left-handed pitcher. He will keep Mulholland at a D as in dog. 55, and that's a liner over short. Clayton will not be able to get to it. Bonds will field it and throw it back in. And Kelly is on with a single. So that's the fifth hit today for the Braves. Lead off single here in the fifth. Kelly is fast. He gets the green token. Mark Lemke will be up next. Versus lefties, he will keep, keep uh, Mulholland at a D. Here is the delivery from Mulholland. <laughs> it's always that green one. Uh, 34, 31. And that's a fly ball out to Darren Lewis. He will take a few steps to right center this time. As Lemke was a little tardy on the fastball. And he will play it for out number two. Or out number one, rather. I'm getting ahead of myself. So one out. 
Greg Maddox will be up next. With one out, we're going to go ahead and let him hit away. Uh, he will keep Mulholland at a Diaz and Dog. 25 is a 23. They are a 2. Uh, that's going to be... Uh, Kelly is caught stealing and then ejected for arguing. So how about that? So caught stealing, 2-4. to four. Braves aren't playing a great game. I have to replace him in left field here when they get into the field. So two out now. Nobody on for Maddox. 56, 34. Again, there are two. Uh, he's not a Y, so that's popped up on the infield. And Clayton will squeeze it for the third out of the inning. So they've hit into two double plays and caught stealing. So, again, they're not hitting on all cylinders. They had the best record in the National League this year. But uh, they're not terribly... Uh, showing it here today. So that's in the five, still two to one. We've got a, a good game going, however. Mulholland pitching above his ability, having got the stuff today. Let me pause it and find a replacement for Kelly. Bobby Cox, the Braves skipper, has put Ryan Klesko out into left field. He is uh, a one rating, whereas... Um, Kelly was a two, so that will... Drop them down to a 32 and a 39, but that won't change the rating. So there's still a two on the infield and a two overall. Here in the top of the six, San Francisco has three, four, and five scheduled. Barry Bonds, who is one for two, will lead off. Versus a righty, he will, he's the one in the lineup that will keep Maddox at an A. 25 is a 10, and that's a single to center field. So... And we'll play that on a couple hops with Barry Bonds with a line drive. Hit number five today. Bonds is fast, according to the APA gurus. So Matt Williams is up next. He's got a home run and fly it out to right field. Oh. I. The stuff is missing. Let me fix that. I, I just now noticed that. Sorry about that. Hopefully that doesn't ruin things too much. There we go. All right, now we're in business. All right, so Matt Williams is scheduled up next. Uh, he will make a A and a C. Raise it double play depth. And there's another hanger. And that's another home run. <laughs> uh, again, he's a G, so 11 to 26, it stays in the park. And that one will stay in the park, so that would be the highest double uh, on the A. So it looks like that's going to be the six. So that's a, let's see, that's going to be a double over first base. Uh, right out of McGree, McGriff's, the first baseman's reach. Justice will, will chase it down. And Bonds, with good speed, is going to score from first. So Maddox not having a good day. So Williams is average speed. He is homered and doubled, so he's not having much difficult with Maddox this afternoon. So a double, an RBI. We got runners on a runner on second for Glen Allen Hill. Again, he will Maddox will be an A and a C on this bat as the Braves bullpen gets up and working. 35 is a 40 on a two. That's a fly out to right field. Runner to third. A slow runner would have been out, but Williams is average, so that will advance Williams to third as David Justice makes the play. That one was hit pretty deep, and the throw to third was just a little bit to the home place, home base, 
home plate side of third. He uh, flew out to right. All right, so they're going to bring the infield in. There's just one out. Matt Williams with average speed is on at third. J.R. Phillips will be up again. Infield in, trying to hold off that fourth run. Maddox, uh, again, will be a 21, which is an A and a C. 64, and he strikes out looking. So Maddox with a nice pitch there on the outside corner. That's, that's the seventh strikeout for Maddox this afternoon. So two away, the infield will go back to normal depth. Royce Clayton will make keep Maddox at an A and a C. So two out, runner on third. 13 is a 23, and again, they are a two. Uh, so with two outs, that's a bulk. <laughs> so how about that? So 13 is a 23, runner on third. They're fielding two, and with two outs, that's a bulk. So that will bring in the fourth run. For Maddox. So Clayton will now hit with nobody on in two out. Here is Maddox. 62, and he strikes him out swinging to end the inning. So they get a run, or two runs rather, on two hits, no errors. They don't leave anybody on. We go to the bottom of the six. The Giants are enjoying a four to one score. All right, top of the order for the for the Braves. Uh, Grism is two for two. Mulholland, again pitching a. The game of the his of the year uh, versus he's a D in this one. That's a 54, 32, and that's a line drive to right field. Hill will take a few steps to the infield and play it at the waist for the first out of the inning. So nice contact by Grissom, but he hit it where Hill could get to it, one away. And Jeff Blauser, who's 0 for 2, will take his place in the right-handed batter's box. E2 will keep Mulholland at a D as in dog. Thirty-five is a forty-two, and he gets plunked. So Blauser, inside fastball, got away from Mulholland. Mulholland trying to establish the inside of the plate. That one got away from him. So one out base runner for the Braves. Chipper Jones due up next. Uh, Blauser is of average speed. So Chipper Jones. And Mulholland will be a Diaz and dog. 34, 31. And that's a fly ball out to Lewis. Hit that one a mile high. And Lewis will wait for it to finally come down. And out number two. So two away for Fred McGriff. Again, he will make a C out of Mulholland. 46 is a 24, and that's a hard ground ball to Clayton. That would have been a tailor-made 6-4-3, except there was already two out, so he will go the long way to first. And that will be the third out of the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. They leave a runner on. We go to the seventh. It is still four to one, San Francisco. Eight, nine, and one due up for the Giants. Man wearing is 0 for 1 with an intentional walk. Maddox will be in an A and a C on this at bat. 63, 32. That's 
a hit out to Justice once again, and he will play it for out number one. They're going to let Mulholland bat. He'll be on a short leash, but they're going to let him see if he can continue. He's, he's hot right now, pitching a great game. 24, and but he strikes out swinging. Strikeout number nine for Greg Maddox. Mulholland badly fooled on that one. Very half-hearted swing, so that brings up Darren Lewis with two outs. And again, Maddox will still be an A and a C. 63, 31, and that's a line drive out to Grissom. And he will play it successfully to end the inning. So they go in order here. Maddox will definitely be pinched hit for when he, his bat comes around. Seventh inning stretch time here at Fulton County Stadium. Atlanta, Fulton County Stadium. I am having a horrible time with the dice today. <laughs> it gets frustrating after a while. All right, here's our trivia question. As of 2022, what team holds the record for the most World Series championships with 27? Uh, any dummy knows that. That's uh, the Yankees, of course. Everybody's favorite team to, to hate. All right. So David Justice, Lopez, and Klesko here in the uh, bottom of the seventh. All right. Justice is a minus two, so not enough to get Mulholland out of the D range. Justice has walked and popped out. 63. And there's another fly ball hit out to Darren Lewis, and he will track it down in the left center field gap for out number one. One away for Javi Lopez. He has the only run today on a home run back in the second. Uh, versus lefties, he will make a C out of Mulholland. 12 is a 25. He is not an X. He's an R. That's a ground ball to second base. Robbie Thompson fields it cleanly and will throw on to first for out number two. So hopefully I haven't missed that R. He's only got one strikeout, so I kind of doubt it. Uh, but I don't remember checking it, but uh, at any rate. All right, Ryan Klesko, who's in for Kelly, who was ejected, arguing, being thrown out trying to steal. Uh, he is not good against lefties, so he'll make a B as in boy out of Mulholland. Klesko did have a pretty good year, though, as you can see. 16 is a 28, and that's a ground ball to Clayton at short. He will play it on the short hop and sidearm it to first. Route number three. So how about that? <laughs> As they go in order, the Braves do. So uh, Maddox is scheduled to hit number two next inning, so they're going to go ahead and let him see what he can do here in the eighth. Two, three, and four scheduled for the Giants. So Robbie Thompson's 0 for 3. Again, Maddox will be an A and a C on this at bat. 53 is an 18, and that's a ground ball to Blouser. He will let it play him instead of playing it and gets that in-between hop. And as a result, he's not able to play it cleanly, and so that'll be a, an error on Blouser. First error of the game. E6. E6. Where is Blouser? There he is. All right. So that brings up Barry Bonds. Bonds is two for three today with a couple singles. Uh, Thompson is of uh, average speed. Go to our runner on first chart. Uh, again, Bonds will make it just an A as an apple out of Maddox. Forty-four is an eight on a C, and that's a ground ball down to McGriff. His only play will be to first, and he underhands it to Maddox covering. That will not hit terribly hard. So they went for the shore out as Thompson will go to second. Three to one on the put out. So one away. 
Matt Williams, he's been the offensive star today by far. He has a double and a home run. Again, he normally is not that great against righties, and Maddox is probably the best righty in the league. <laughs> but he is having a good day today. 51 is an 8, and uh, that's a ground ball, slow ground ball down the third baseline. Uh, Jones will charge it, and he will fire a BB to McGriff for the th out. Thompson will make it to third on the play. Five to three on the put out, so that's two out. We've got Thompson at third, and Glenn Allen Hill will be up with two up, two away. He's got a home run to his credit today. Again, Maddox an A and a C on this pitch, on this at bat rather. 16, and that's a ground ball to short. And Blauser will play that one successfully and fire on to McGriff to end the inning. So that'll be it for Maddox today. Again, not his greatest performance. See if the Braves can salvage him here. They got uh, two more at bats. So no runs, no hits. One error, one runner left. We go to the bottom of the eight. It is still four to one. Giants. So at this point, I'm thinking that the Giants are probably going to go to their pin. So let me pause it and see what they've got going on. So Dusty Baker, the Giant manager, has went going with uh, Dave Burba. So uh, the Giant bullpen this year is horrific. <laughs> it is really bad. Uh, but, of course, Dusty Baker didn't know how bad they would be here the first game of 1995. Uh, so I think he would have went to, uh, especially opening day, seven innings. You know, 90, 95, even though it's nothing like today for the pitchers and relief pitchers, uh, it's definitely not 1969 or 1946 either. So, uh, you know, I try to try to do these as I think that they would, and that's not an exact science. But at any rate, Dave Verba is on the mound, and he'll start with Mark Lemke, who is 0 for 2. So Burba, uh, his, he is a nine, which is quite an improvement over Mulholland's two. He doesn't have a home run modifier. He has an X and a W, so he is wild. Uh, Mulholland did have the Z. All right, so Lemke versus right-handed pitchers is a minus three, so that will improve Burba to a B as in boy, as Lemke prefers left-handed pitching. Here is the delivery. 13, and that's going to be a walk. So that will be base on balls for Lemke. And that brings us up to Maddox's place. They're going to pinch hit for him. So again, let me pause it and find us a pinch hitter. So Bobby Cox is going to go with Dwight Smith, left-handed hitter from Tallahassee, Florida. He will be into pinch hit. So we got Lemke with average speed at first. Nobody out. 12 is a 25. They are a 2, and that's a tailor made 4 6 3. Nice hard ground ball to Thompson. He underhand shovels it to Clayton, on to Phillips. 4 6 3 double play. So ground out, out, out. Four, six, three. Oh, that'll, that's the uh, third double play the Braves have hit into today. Again, that's not been their day. You would have expected much different results with the starting pitchers and the teams, but that's why we roll the games, and I, I love it. All right, Marquise Grissom. Two out, nobody on versus a right-hander. He will improve Burba to a B as in boy. 52, 27 is a ground ball. That's actually an X, so that's going to be a strikeout swinging. So Burba with the heat. He had some smoke. I think he ended up with the Reds uh, this year. I think they trade him to the Reds later on. 
So no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. We go to the ninth inning, four to one, San Francisco. Let me pause it while we find this a, a brave pitcher. Bobby Cox will go with Brad Klontz, who is a CYZ, so he's got good control. He's a nine on his master rating, so he could be in the B range some. Uh, J.R. Phillips will start things off in the ninth here for the Giants. He is 0 for 3 today versus righties. He's a minus 1, so that will keep Klontz at a C. 35 is a 13, and he strikes out swinging. So first, first strikeout, obviously, for Klontz. First out of the inning. That brings us Royce Clayton, who is 1 for 3 with a double. Uh, he will make a B, as in boy, out of Klontz. And 35, that's going to be a hard ground ball down to Jones at third base. He backhands it, makes the long throw across the infield, and gets the speedy Clayton by a step. So that one was hit pretty hard, so Jones had a bit of time. Quickly two away, and that will bring us to Kurt Manwaring. And uh, minus Ray, so he'll make a B as in boy out of Klotz as well. Two out, nobody on, top of the ninth. 24, and he strikes out looking. So Klotz with a nice fastball on the inside corner. Manwaring raised his arms like he thought that one was inside, but it was not, according to the home plate umpire, and Klotz retires the Giants in order. We go to the home half of the ninth. Four to one, San Francisco. They're going to see if Burba can close it out here. He just pitched one inning so far. He'll start with, he's got two, three, and four scheduled here in the ninth. Klaus, or, uh, Jeff Blauser uh, will lead off. He was plonked his last time up. Minus two, so he'll make an 11 as, as in B out of Burba. 63, 32, and that's a high fly ball. That's a shallow right field. Coming on toward the line uh, is Glenn Allen Hill. And he gets to it for out number one. Chipper Jones is 0 for 3. He's flied out twice and hit into a double play. Versus righties, he'll make a B as in boy out of Burba. 63, and there's another fly ball out to Hill. This one hit relatively deep, but it's high, so Hill will have time to get to it. And a few steps from the warning track, he will squeeze it for out number two. So Braves down to their last out. Crime dog Fred McGriff versus righties. He will keep Burba at a C as in cat. 31 is a nine on a C, and that's a inside fastball. McGriff pops it up. Williams at third will wave everyone off. And put it away, and that, my friends, is the game. So that one did not turn out as you would expect. Uh, and again, um, when you're playing Maddox, uh, you're a little disappointed when you don't get a good one. Just like in real life, if you went to see him pitch and he had a bad game. Uh, but uh, this was not his finest outing for sure. And then Mulholland, you know, wow. <laughs> uh, Mulholland, who had a horrible year. Uh, pitches a fine game. He went seven innings, five hits, one run, one earned one, one walk, one strikeout to get the win. Dave Burba pitched two uh, shutout innings to get the save. Uh, Maddox, eight innings, six hits, four runs, four earned runs, just one walk, nine strikeouts, and then those two home runs. Uh, again, uh, you know, I think that uh, Atba does a really good job of making, you know, when you're, especially with the adjustments I'm making here, uh, of doing that. It's just that that wasn't his day. And uh, so it'd be interesting to see, you know, how he goes from here. But that's why we roll the die is because of the dice. It's because you just never want, know what will happen. Uh, you know, it's really exciting when I'm doing my, my score sheet and putting in the names. And, again, you just, Anything could happen, and so uh, this one didn't turn out as as expected, but still a, a fun game. So uh, really like my 95 set. Uh, again, uh, baseball is quite a bit different uh, in 95 than I'm used to. Uh, not again, not nearly like it is 
now, but uh, still, uh, 95, you were getting into the specialized pitching and a lot of the uh, lefty, uh, you know, specialists and things like that. Whereas in 1969, for example, uh, you know, that relief, that was relief pitching was starting to become a thing in the 60s. Um, I think in the 50s, you had maybe had Hoyt Wilhelm. So, I mean, there were, there were an occasional one, but it really wasn't a thing. You know, most pitchers were expected to go the distance and, you know, they pitched pretty much till they <laughs> were going to get the loss and then you brought in somebody else to try to finish it. Typically, you gave the pitcher the opportunity to either win or lose the game. And uh, I personally prefer that style of, of, of playing. But, uh, you know, again, 95 is a different animal, but still uh, very enjoyable. So at any rate, uh, thanks for hanging out and watching this with me. Uh, I appreciate it very much, and I'll see you next time.